Meanwhile, South Africa has extended lockdown restrictions until the 25th of July as the country has recorded a rise in the number of COVID-19 infections. 19 related deaths in hospitals are also increasing and have surpassed those observed at the peak of the first wave. Consequently, Cabinet, after consultation with our provinces, has decided to maintain the country at adjusted alert level 4 for another 14 days. Now, all social, political, religious and other gatherings remain prohibited while a curfew remains in place from 9pm until 4am. The sale of alcohol also remains banned. Schools will remain shut until the 26th of July. Restaurants have been allowed to remain open but only to serve food for takeaway and delivery. Now, South Africa has been reporting an average of 20,000 new cases daily for the past two weeks. Meanwhile, the country is also rushing to vaccinate its 16 million people, though experts say that it is too late to reduce the impact of the current strike. The country accounts for over 35% of the 5.8 million cases recorded in Africa's 54 countries, despite accounting for just about 4% of the continent's population. The average daily deaths in South Africa have also doubled in the past two weeks to over 360 deaths per day. Now, on the vaccination front, things are looking up as supply issues ease. Shipments of the 40 million Pfizer doses purchased by South Africa are arriving weekly. Now, apart from this, it is set to get another 31 million vaccines assembled within the country. Armed with these doses, the country plans to expand eligibility criteria of vaccine recipients to those who are 35 and older. But South Africa's vaccination rate still remains very low. Out of its 4 million population, only about 1.3 million has been vaccinated and only about 6.5% have received at least one dose. But South Africa's low vaccination rate is reflected in the continent. So far, less than 2% of Africa's 1.3 billion people have been fully vaccinated. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.